Confession, I do nothing at my new job and nobody has seemed to notice. Update August 7th, I applied for a transfer across town and now am in an actual role. I'm actually fairly busy these days, but the reduced paranoia of getting caught is worth it and makes the day go by faster. Just did bullet form for brevity. Got a new job about three months ago from a competitor of my old employer. Decent pay increase as a project manager, Fortune 300. When getting hired, was told my team was getting assembled, and was given some prelim work to do but was warned it may be a week or two. Cool with me, got me time to get acclimated. I complete the work a lot sooner than expected, and, after asking my boss if there was anything to do and being told not yet sit on my thumbs for a few days, assuming HR will be in touch with the status of the hires. About a month goes by, and still nothing. I try to be helpful, emailing other managers asking if they needed a second eye on anything, and asking my boss slash a few people under me if they need help on any projects, yet no long term goal can be found and for the most part I essentially do nothing but play on my phone and day trade. I have my own office. I check in weekly with a member of HR, alternating between a few as to not piss them off, but here little back. Eventually, my boss retires, and the new interim guy is from another department, I'm friendly with him, but it's clear he's a bit over his head, so I figured I'd wait a few days to let him know my situation. Eventually though, he comes into my office to thank me for doing good work on the initial pre-setup I had done a month ago. After that, he essentially leaves me to my own devices. At this point, I had written close to a dozen emails to HR, and even my boss's boss but always got non-committal responses. Eventually due to learned response I kind of give up and just figure someone will tell me eventually. It's now been close to three months and outside of extremely minor favor tasks and my initial pre-planning, I've essentially done nothing, and have not been asked what I'm doing once. I occasionally walk around the production floor with a clipboard taking notes so I'm seen, but I seriously feel like even if I didn't no one would notice. My new boss doesn't seem to realize I'm one of his workers, and essentially leaves me alone, lost in the shuffle of a huge company. A bit annoying, but I'm not complaining and I have documented proof of me trying to fix this situation. Until someone notices though, I'm happy playing words with friends and day trading while getting 35 an hour. I've had my current job for a little over a year, and on my first day my supervisor told me, this isn't a hard job at all, and I expect you'll get bored. As long as you take care of your responsibilities, you can sit at your desk on Facebook or Reddit all day, and I don't care. Needless to say, I have spent most of this past year on Reddit. Sounds like you have a great boss. I work in IT and basically can finish my work within the first half hour but I have to take it slow because my supervisor really hates it when I just sit there browsing Reddit. It really sucks when you have to act like you're working when there's nothing to do. Which reminds me of my buddy who worked at UPS. Graveyard shift I think it was 11 to 7. We were going to go out drinking one night, he said can you run me by work first. I was like okay you forgot something, gotta pick something up. He was like no I got a clock in. Clock in? I thought we were going out to a few clubs, now we are. Long story short, he would go through security, clock in, go back through security and leave every night at 11. Then every morning at 6 he would repeat. He did this for 6 years. One day his paycheck wasn't there so he stopped doing it. Can you get sued for the money you were paid while not working in that scenario? Asking for a friend. I had a former job where I was the guy in charge of all these systems, like literally thousands of clone servers in a data center, way before the cloud was a thing, but I had automated everything and there was really no actual work to be done day to day except improve what I had already done or fix it when it broke. One day, I got really sick, and forgot to call into work sick and when I got back, no one noticed I was gone. That was kind of a wake up call. I took this time to learn a bunch of new skills and apply for another job. I was there for another year, and I got a job literally on the same day our entire department was outsourced and I got laid off. It started with a mandatory meeting and a severance package and ended with a letter of acceptance. Talk about a shoestring catch. But yeah, sometimes days and days went by with literally nothing to do. I learned Perl, 
MySQL, built a bunch of chatbots, and what the industry was looking for. I left for interviews without notifying anyone and no one noticed. I wrote a book too. Did NaNoWriMo from my desk for an entire month and did 125k words. Same man, been here 3 months now. I sit on Reddit all day, play Kerbal Space Program and literally just use the internet to download stuff. Pretty much haven't done a thing, I start at about 10am and I finish at like 2.33. I don't know what my job is but they seem to like me. Edit, ok I feel I have to mention I've done a little bit, I've designed some stuff and I've spoken to a few clients and I held a meeting once. Edit 2. 11 days after I posted this, I got promoted to project manager lol. I recently was talking to a friend about how I stay at my job because I probably only really work about 15 to 20 hours a week, and I really enjoy not stressing about work. She told me that two years ago she got depressed and stopped giving a coconut. He boss thought she was leaving the company and offered her a raise and a promotion. It happens to the best of us. The biggest issue is occasional boredom. My little cousin cracked my iPhone XS Max screen. Made my aunt pay $329 knowing I have Apple Care and it only cost me $29. My little cousins are the biggest butternut in the world and my aunt pretty much lets them do whatever they want without consequence. They were rough housing and knocked my phone off the counter, shattering the screen. My closest Apple store is about 2 hours away and it's a huge inconvenience for me to drive there not to mention the extra gas. So instead of explaining this to her, she's the kind of person who doesn't care about things that don't affect her directly, I told her it was $329 to fix, which is true if I didn't have Apple Care. She wrote me a check for $329 and I only had to pay $29 and I pocketed the extra $300. I consider that my non-disclosed inconvenience fee. Edit my cousins are 14 and 15. Not exactly toddlers. I mean it was still basically that much if you have to pay for Apple Care. This is kinda why I did what I did. Not justifying my logic, but Apple Care cost $200 plus $29 plus $60, gas, again my closest Apple store is 2 hours away. Don't feel too bad. I've done something similar. A girl got real drunk at a New Year's party I hosted, got in a fight with her boyfriend and started throwing empty glass beer bottles at him in my kitchen so we asked them to leave, on the way out she punched a hole through one of our windows. Her boyfriend made her pay for damages after days of her acting like that's the risk you take when you throw a party so I found a Feldco quote to repair it for around $260 and sent that to them. Meanwhile I used to rehab houses so I bought a new pane, cut it to size, and put it in with some new siding for about $50 of materials. Didn't tell them that and took the $210 profit because honestly zucchini you for being that kind of rude. You hired yourself to fix it. Seems reasonable to me. Not everyone has the skills. My butternut little cousin broke my brand new laptop on Christmas morning. You best believe I told my aunt and uncle that they owed me $800 for the laptop. I find that expensive mistakes are what makes parents finally discipline their children. My niece did the same thing to my mom's phone. She climbed on the kitchen counter. Those twins have the horrible habit of climbing furniture, putting their feet on tables and standing on them, and she broke her phone. Her mother obviously didn't offer to pay for cheesecake. And the kids are still misbehaving little shitheads, who by the way, are too old for half the butternut they do. You have all my support on this one. Teach your kids how to behave, people. At least you didn't coconut on your hamster. I run a fake restaurant on a delivery app. I registered a company, bought all the takeaway boxes from Amazon, signed up for a few delivery apps, made a few social media accounts and printed leaflets that I drop in mailboxes. I resell microwave meals. On some meals I add something to make them look better, like cheese. So far it's at around £200 a day in revenue. Nobody suspects a thing, soon someone will come for hygiene inspection, but I'll pass that check without any problems. It's not illegal to operate out of your own kitchen. Should I feel bad? I feel kind of proud to be fair and free as a bird from the 9 to 5 life. Edit, please stop commenting on the legality of this. I'm doing everything by the law. I'm in the UK, so yes, 
I can work out of a non-commercial kitchen, yes I am registered and will pay taxes in Jan, yes I have my certificates and yes I have insurance, though there is something I might need to add to the policy, doing that next week. This shouldn't be your concern, I'm legal. This is a confession sub, not legal advice. Not breaking any laws, just ruining my car world for selling people heated up food from a microwave at home. Unbelievable. I'm impressed at the flyers part. You had to go the extra mile. Wow, lul. One has to have some marketing smile. I think I probably ordered from you. So much cheesecake delivery food. Real restaurants do it too, especially on something like lasagna or moussaka. Because otherwise it takes about 1,5 to 2 hours to make. Those are the two most popular meals I can think of, that are pre-made, frozen and then simply heated up and served on a plate. There's someone in my area that does this but doesn't even cook the food. They're called snacks in the city and they sell nothing but junk food, chips, pop, cookies, candy, and ice cream. Sounds genius if you ask me. Zucchini I live in small town US. Could I just go buy junk food from Costco and sell it for twice as much and deliver it myself, for a fee, to all the drunks and stoners who don't want to drive? That seems way easier than heating stuff and getting someone else to deliver, plus the last store for 30 miles closed at 11, bet I'd be popular 10 to 2 a.m. You kind of just started an actual restaurant. 